Hi everyone, this is my first video and uh, just kind of wanted to show what I found at garage sales, moving sales, estate sales, and thrift stores in the last couple of days. Um, I've been enjoying watching everybody else's videos, so I thought I would join in. Uh, first thing is a couple of days ago, at a Goodwill, I got a big bag of old Kellogg's um, Disney figures. Um, some DuckTales ones, some gummy bears. Um, there's actually this Miss Piggy. That's not a Kellogg's, but still old. Uh, got some of the, a couple of the Smurfs. Uh, none of the babies, though, which I think that's the rare one. But I paid $2 for the whole bag. Um, so, not too bad. We got a Mr. Mouth. I paid $99 for him. He's one of the old ones. Uh, looks like he has everything except for maybe one blue token. I'm hoping that's the only thing that's missing. Um, but again, we'll see and hopefully I can make uh, around $10, $15 more. Put this together. At the same Goodwill store, got a Sega Genesis. Uh, looks like the it's the first model. Uh, it didn't have any of the connecting um, cords. So I'm going to have to find some and then test it myself. But I'm assuming it's in good shape. I'm assuming it's going to work. If it does work, about 35 bucks. 30 bucks. Maybe 25 I got for 250 I know it says $4.99 here, but I got for $2.50 um, got the old Risk. It's, I think, 1968. Uh, I got actually two of them. One has the plastic pieces. One has the wood pieces. Um, the wood piece one is around 30. Uh, the plastic one's around 20-ish. Uh, but again, I paid 250 a piece, so not too bad. Here is the plastic piece one. Uh, the box is in really good uh, shape with just you know some of the old vintage. Uh, since it's so old, it's going to have some boogered up corners, but for the most part, pretty good. Also got a. Zelda Ocarina of Time in 64 game. Um, these usually sell for anywhere between 10 and 15. I paid four for that. So, all right. Went to an estate sale and got a Deathly Hallows uh, Harry Potter. Uh, I love getting these because you can lot them up and uh, I'm selling for about 60 bucks. So I paid a dollar for that. I got this oil painting. Um, it is by Beaumont. And it's very small, and uh, it looks like it's probably pretty old, too. There's that. I know you probably can't see that, but that's that. Let's see here. I got this old Japanese uh, picture here. I know nothing about it. It looks like it's painted on some sort of cloth. And uh, the reason I bought it is... It was received, it says it was received from Bob while stationed in Japan in 1953. Uh, and it has the Korean War right next to that. So I figured if that's actually real, boy, that's really hard to see. I apologize, but uh, that's what it says. And I don't, I don't know nothing about it. I don't know too much about art, but uh, I figured for $2 it's worth a shot. I got a... Empire Strikes Back record. It's in very good shape. Uh, still has the pages here. Very nice. Only paid about two bucks for that. Uh, hopefully, maybe get fifteen twenty for it. All right. The best part is I went to an estate sale and the guy ended up having a lot of sports memorabilia and stuff that I couldn't tell if it was real or not at first. But after uh, more inspection and uh, doing a little research, it's all real, and it's very neat. Uh, the first one's it. He had four of these, uh, Minnesota Wild, 2001-2002, uh, uh, the inaugural game, uh, Wild versus Bruins on October 10th, 2001. There's four of these, and I've never been able to find them on eBay or anything, so I don't know if it was something that was just given to people that were there or if it actually was a retail item. But there's four of those. And I got this, a New Jersey Devils hat with a bunch of signatures on it. Uh, they are real autographs uh, from Martin Brodeur, uh, Zach Parisi, um, pretty much anybody from the 2006 
2017. I believe that's uh, what this team is from, uh, or what uh, the uh, signatures are from. Um, Jamie Langenbrunner. Um, there's there's about 15 autographs on the on the hat, um, and I'll tell you shortly why I, I was able to find out that those were real. Um, we got this very nice coach bag. It's uh, it is real. It's got all of its tags, um, all the different tags here, and this was actually at the same estate sale. I actually paid a hundred dollars for this, uh, but it sells for about four hundred and seventy-five. So that's pretty good. This one, it's a Reebok hockey bag. See that? But it's got the New Jersey Devils logos on both sides. They are embroidered on. It's a, it's a patch. Um, it's a huge bag. So very, very nice. Very clean. And very nice. I've never seen one of these either. Um, and again, I'll tell you why here shortly. Alright, let me get up for a second here. Pick up this beauty. It's a picture of the 1990-91 Atlanta Hawks. And it has all their signatures on it. Um, it's got Dominique Wilkins, Doc Rivers, the, uh, new, the coach of the Boston Celtics, uh, Moses Malone, Spud Webb, who's the smallest guy to ever win the dunk contest, I believe, still. Um, and even, I think, Sidney Moncrief. Uh, yeah, there's uh, plenty of uh, pretty good autographs on here, and they are real as all, uh, also. And again, I'll tell you how I know that. And the last thing I'll show is... This is a heavy, heavy plaque with the Minnesota Timberwolves' first logo. It is metal. This part is, or at least I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Uh, and of course, this is wood. Um, it, it probably weighs about 15 pounds. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. I've never seen anything like this before. And uh, I actually am a huge sports fan. I still have never seen anything like this. Well, the reason uh, all this stuff is um, you've never seen it is because of most of it wasn't retail. Uh, the guy's estate sale uh, wasn't because somebody passed on. It was because he got a, another job somewhere. He is actually the, uh, he was the head trainer, uh, athletic trainer of the Peoria Rivermen. And he actually, for six years, uh, worked for the Minnesota Timberwolves, probably where this thing came from. And he also worked for the Red Wings in, I think, 06, 07. It was either 06, 07, or 07, or 08. Can't remember. Um, he also worked with the Atlanta Hawks before he worked with the Minnesota Timberwolves. Um, so, yeah, this is all uh, from his uh, estate sale. And I'm hoping, I have no idea what the value is because, again, there's not any of these on there. There's no like items. Uh, so I'm going to probably just put them on as uh, auctions and see where they go. But that's pretty much it. I, all I have today, and I doubt if I'll have much better things than that in the future. But I buy stuff every day, so I might upload a video every other day. So I uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I apologize for the lighting again, and have a great day.